Hello folks, Bronco Bob here with Texas Best Specialty Vehicles. Here today to show you a 1964 Dodge Max Wedge clone. Basically this car has been recreated to be it correct as the Max Wedges were back in the day. To look like your grandmother's sleeper, but under the hood is a high performance 426 Max Wedge motor built by Lou Mancini. It has electronic ignition, but the MSD box is hidden under the battery. It's all made to look authentic and correct. The carbs have been professionally tuned and jetted. The car really runs amazing. It's got a mild street stall. I just drove it. It's very smooth, but when you put your foot in it, it's kind of scary. It's got a Positrack rear end, and on a cool day like today, there's not a whole lot of traction. The paint on this car is absolutely show quality, and I, I say that most of the cars we have, I call them driver quality paint jobs, but this one's above that. All the chrome and trim, the polished stainless is all in excellent condition. It's got the correct hood scoop with the two holes cut out. So on the drag strip, they would take the air filter, uh, air cleaner covers off. It's got the cutout exhaust underneath where you can uh, uncap the uh, factory header system which is a raised cast aluminum, I'm sorry, cast steel exhaust manifold header system. Really cool. But all the wiring is all correct down to the hubcaps. The interior is really excellent. It even has a Anniversary 1914 to 1964. It's Dodge's golden anniversary steering wheel. It's got the uh, push button torque flight automatic. And there's tags on here from the previous owner. It says don't use the choke. The tachometer works. The alternator gauge works. I'm going to start it. And then it's got added auto. Uh, Auto gauge, oil pressure, and engine temperature. It's got a moon equipped tachometer. There's your temperature gauge. In the glove box is a 1964 Dodge owner's manual. This car originally came from California, so it doesn't have any rust on it. You can see all the trim and everything was done really first quality. But let's get down to business and let you hear it run. Nothing like a big block Mopar. Well, the paint on this car is just absolutely beautiful. The felt for the windows, it's all been replaced. All the trim is very, very nice. It's quite the gorgeous car. Great for a drive-in car show. You could win some trophies with this car. Even put a note on the hood that there's two latches. So the next owner knows how to open the hood. But yeah, the car is, it drives good, but if you put your foot in it, both back tires spin, it will get sideways on you real quick. So you really gotta respect the power of this car. Beautiful paint. It's really a sweetheart. There's just no chips, no marks. It's a car you'll be proud to own. The push button transmission all works excellent. Take it for a little cruise here. I love the old school steering wheel. Almost hate it when they change these cars out and put tilt wheels in them. I'm not about 
to get on it without both hands on the steering wheel. The brakes stop straight. The steering is very tight. The shocks are good. It's quite the time machine. Take you back in the day. There's even a sticker in the glove box that says this car does not have a factory warranty. It was designed for high performance runs with a 426 wedge motor, so there is no warranty from the factory back in the day. I want to get one more good look at the paint. Paint is really, really excellent. There's just nothing to not like about this car. I'm going to take it, put it on a lift, and I'll get you some pictures of the undercarriage. Man, I love that sound. Nothing like it. Well, have a great day. I'm Bronco Bob with Texas Best Specialty Vehicles. Look forward to seeing you soon.